back. Um, I've got a couple things to share with you guys today. I've got a journal that's a de design team project for Artie Mays. Um, and I'll show you. This is another hardcover journal. Um, this is a six by eight and a half, three signature. And I've, sorry, let me just make sure I'm in frame here. Um, this has been f uh, covered in fabric, and I absolutely love this. And it went really, really well with uh, Artie Mae's Tea Time journal kit. So, I'll just show you guys the cover. I've kept it plain because uh, I know some people who are, you know, have contacted me that they like my journals, but they want some of them left plain. So just to mix it up a bit, I've, I've went ahead and left this one um, with just the fabric because I think, I think alone it, it's just a beautiful journal. I love this material. Um, the closure is Sari Silk. And let's get going inside. Love these images here. On the front, I've done a double pocket. It's a large pocket. And then tucked inside, I've done this um, trifold um, ticket, or not ticket, tag thing, and I've just had that tucked inside there. And then this is one of the um, tags that comes from the kit, and one of the pockets as well. They are just beautiful, really pretty vintage uh, images. I've worked with this kit before. And I just wanted to go back and revisit it because I just think it's a really pretty kit. Um, this is a bit of the Tim Holtz wallpaper sample. And then on this side I've got another one of the pockets that comes with the kit and another journal tag and I've stitched around that. And then I just created this tiny, I've got a little um, die that cuts out these tiny envelopes so I've just added that. That was a bit of leftover um, paper that I had from the kit, so I wanted to just use it all up. Um, here is a Edith Holden book page I've added to it. All the papers are tea dyed inside. Um, one of the square doilies. Love this page. This is um, another of the pages that comes in the kit. It's a large kit. Artie Mae's kits are very generous. Um, here is one of the journal cards that comes from it, and this is just something I had in my stash. And I've added some scrapbooking papers in this one, um, so they're you know I tried to coordinate them as to the kit. So there's quite a few bits of scrapbook paper as well, and this is one of the um, heart little tuck spots. I've just put a little teacup. I thought that was cute. So you could add some more tags to that. <coughs> a little um, paper bag. And I've got just some various papers throughout. Here I've used a lot of my uh, snippet roll. Um, I've cut into that and added, you know, each signature's got a bit of it in it. So I like that for just some interest. Um, I put envelope, handmade um, envelopes in the center of, of every signature on here. And the other day, um, I don't know if I shared with you guys, I had um, lots of postcards that I didn't particularly like. I had bought a massive box at the car boot here. And they just weren't anything that I thought I would use. And I thought, well, it's a real shame, you know, because they're nice and sturdy. So what I, I did one day, I just sat down. Um, actually, it was one evening. I sat down and I just started um, collaging scraps of paper that I had left over from projects and just various images that I had. And then I machine stitched around. So it's um, it's kind of a cute little journaling card. So... And let's see here, I've got a couple of tags and a um, ultra paper clip. This is one of the big tags you get in the kit. I love that. The colors are beautiful on that. Um, this is another of the journal cards that comes with it. And then this is just one of the tiny um, Rolodex pockets I made by just layering... Um, several pages of old book page together and, and um, 
stitching that together. I did some stamping on it as well. So that's all been pinned together. So you could move those throughout. Um, oh boy. <laughs> Sometimes it just, just doesn't want to work. It's going to be one of those days, I think. Um, here, just a little tuck spot. This is um, just some heavy um, cardstock I had. And a bit of um, vintage music sheet. Um, another little um, fabric with a button stitch to it. I tried to add, um, this is the last page of this first signature. I've made a pocket there, so you got a nice big place you can tuck some things. Um, I tried to add a lot of little fabric things in this one because I've been missing um, the fabric additions. And like I said, I'm really going through and doing a lot of, um, you know, trying to clear out and, and all. This is just another tag I added to it, and I love those pages. I love the colors in this kit. It's a really, really pretty kit. Here I stitched um, back to the page with some tea dyed paper, a bit more of the Tim Holtz wallpaper sample, another music sheet, and here's another pocket. I could um, doily. Some more of the Edith Holden paper, and then here's some more of that snippet roll that I had. So I'm going to have to find some time and start getting back to making those because I'm just about out of them now. <laughs> um, here I did a belly band, and then just added one of the um, <coughs> wax um, envelopes that I created. This is one of the journal cards from the kit. Oh, the kitty, the kitty's tea party. Love that. So that's been tucked in. Another uh, paper bag. And then this is the center of the signature. And I did another um, postcard here that's been just collaged with some of my scrap papers. So it's kind of... Um, Kind of like a stash buster journal. This is another pocket here. Um, some more of the scrapbook paper. And there's another bit of Edith Holden doily, and here I've got another large tag from the kit that's been stitched around. And then here I just created this little. Kind of like a envelope pocket, so you could move that throughout the journal. And um, this is another tag. This is from a different kit of R.E. Mays. It's the calendar tags. I love these, so I thought it matched nicely, so I put that in with here with it. And then another <clears throat> large tag and a tiny. Um, Envelopes, so those have just been clipped in with another um, altered paper clip there. Let's see if I can get this back on. <clears throat> and another pocket here. Love that page. And then I've added another little bit of fabric there. I just think it really suited this journal to add um, the extra snippets and things to it. And here, just a little tuck spot there. Another of the journal cards. And then I just put in one of the book page um, envelopes. And you could either glue that in the journal or just have it as a little floating pocket throughout. Um, this is just another book page I had from a, um, it was like a cottage type uh, book, but I thought the images were really, really pretty. Um, here I've just added another one of the little um, heart tuck spots, so that could either be used in this journal or another journal. I just, um, I really filled this one out. Here's another little bag, a bit of... Um, 
writing paper. It's got some of the gold on there. I thought that was a really pretty set when I picked that up a couple weeks back. I've been adding it to various um, journals. Here I've done a little matchbook notepad. And I just tucked that in, in this pocket. Um, so you could move that wherever you wanted or just use it in another journal altogether. But yeah, it's <coughs> ended up a pretty chunky journal. I love this, um, the tag. I like the colors in this. They're really, really pretty. Another altered paper clip and another of the really big tags that she gives you. I love the teacup with the roses. It's really sweet. Some more of that book page and another bit of the snippet roll. And here is just one of the little, um, you guys saw my tutorial where I just took the off cuts from the um, digital kits that we have left over and I created some little embellishments and that's one of them I added to the journal. A couple more tags and another book page. And then the very back here, I've got two more of the tags that come in the kit and a double pocket there. And then this is one of the um, envelope. Isn't that beautiful? With the little journal card that she has. Those are so sweet. So that one's just been tucked in the back here so you can put that wherever you'd like. There it is. It's a big journal. Um, all the details are in the link below if you're interested in it. I'll put the link below to the kit that I used in Artie Mae's um, shop on Etsy. So you guys check her out. And I just want to show you guys really quickly. I've added some uh, nature journal kits to my website. Um, my shop so if you're interested in these I've only got a few of these to go around but I wanted to do something that was nature themed because I know when you're starting out it's not easy to source book pages um, a variety of things for completing a journal so I wanted to do something with that in mind and I came across this beautiful I wouldn't say it's it's old wallpaper, but I don't know if I could label it as vintage. I know that this is probably 80s wallpaper, but what I loved about it, it's a, a watercolor design with the butterflies. I want you guys to see a close-up of that. It's gorgeous, and I know my photos will not do it justice, so I really felt the, the need to come on here so you guys can see what's included in the kit. You're going to get a big piece of this, and it's large enough that if you wanted to make a journal cover, you could and still have plenty for tags and pockets. That was my thinking, was that I, I needed it to be large enough that you can do something with. Um, but it's all got to be small enough that I can keep it as a large um, letter for shipping rates. So I've had to be really conscious of that. Um, but I think I've put together a really nice collection of, of different things. I'm hoping that um, these are all items that I use in my journal kits. I know you guys have seen me take these papers and I run them through embossing folders and they give it a really nice um, texture. It gives you some color to your journal, but they're all muted colors. So I thought, ah, I want to give you guys two, two um, sheets of each color that I've got. So there's 18 pages of this included. I've included four pages of the handmade paper, and this is it's stunning paper. So these are the colors I've got. So you get one of each um, sheet of this. And then you get a variety of book pages, and they're all related to nature or horticulture. You've got Edith Holden pages, and I've made sure that each, um, you'll get a page of wording and a page of images. So you don't have to worry that you're going to end up with, with nothing but words. I've made sure that everybody gets those. I've taken two of these sheets of the other um, 
book that I recently purchased. They're all nature images, so you get two of those. You're going to get two of these, which has got gorgeous um, illustrations on it. These are so pretty. So I've put two of those in there. You get um, a couple of these pages. You get some of these. And these are fabulous images. Look at those. I really debated whether to include these, but I thought, yeah, I need to because um, they are beautiful. And they are, the book pages are all um, vintage, except this is not. I think this is dating in the 80s. But the rest of these are vintage book pages. So, And then I included two of these. And a couple of the um, floral playing cards. And then I've each kit will have two of these textured wallpaper tags. They will vary in color, but they'll all be something that will coordinate nicely with, with the whole kit. So if you guys are interested in that, that's the bundle I've got going. And I have kept the price down because I wanted to make sure that it was affordable for people who are starting out. And... I've just got so much, guys. Uh, it, it's just more than I'm going to use, and it's quite nice to share it with you, and hopefully somebody else will enjoy some of these things. So check that out. I'll put the link below to my website, and I appreciate you guys stopping by today. I hope everybody's having a great week. Welcome to all my new subscribers. I really appreciate everybody that has um, subscribed and has commented on my vid videos. It's a big, big help to me. So if you would, just give me a thumbs up and hit the bell so that you can get my future um, notifications. And I will be back hopefully very soon with, with more things to share. Take care, guys. Bye.